The average person in the UK walks around three to 4,000 steps a day, which is unsurprising because the modern world isn't designed for walking. We drive to work, we drive to the supermarket, get a taxi into town, jump on the bus to go to the gym to walk on a treadmill. We even have moving walkways in airports so we don't have to walk to the gate. I mean, those things are pretty class to be fair. On top of this, we spend all day sitting at a desk to go home and sit on the couch on our phones with the TV on in the background. As a result, more and more people are becoming obese, which poses a number of health risks. To help aid in the battle against obesity, experts have been recommending targets of 10,000 steps a day, which is around 5 miles, as a reasonable goal to strive for. At first, this may seem a lot, but after incorporating the methods included in this video, you'll be able to effortlessly hit 10,000 steps a day and start walking towards a healthier future. The methods included in this video will help you get extra steps, maybe in ways that you hadn't thought about before, just in better utilising your time. But I must mention, you're still going to have to walk. There's no magic pill, just like in anything in life and fitness. In health, there's no quick shortcut that's going to get you there. You're going to have to actually put the steps in, but the ideas in this video will hopefully get you there in a way that you don't have to think about. So what actually are the benefits of walking then? Well, walking is an excellent and underused weight loss tool, actually. A lot of people jump to reducing their calories to lose weight, and obviously that works, but when it comes down to dieting, a great way is just to increase your step count, burn a few extra calories while you're walking about. It also strengthens your heart and it can help to reduce your blood sugar levels. Walking helps to boost your immune function in your body, it also helps to improve your digestion and it can help to improve your creative thinking. That's why the likes of Einstein and all these intelligent scientists, people who I can only aspire to be anything like, go out for their walks. No music, no social media, just peace and quiet, time to think and for whatever reason it helps boost your creative thinking. Walking is a great way to clear your head, clear the mind, clear all of the badness. If you're feeling stressed, you're feeling like the world is starting to swallow you whole, you're stressed out at work, you're not enjoying where you're at, get out, put your phone down, leave your phone in the house, go for a walk and just walk about in silence. Sit, sit with your thoughts and work through all the issues that you've got there because it'll help big time. This is something that I do very regularly if I'm feeling stressed out, is sitting in the house editing or doing uni work etc. Put my phone down, go for a walk and I feel 10 times better than I did before I left the house. And you always feel better when you go back to do your work. Not clear head. Ain't that right? Yeah. Can you even listen to what I said? Yeah. Good. So should you. <laughs> so we now know the benefits of walking, but how do we actually make walking 10,000 steps a day seem effortless? Walking with a partner, that always helps. Keeps you accountable, takes your mind off walking. And if you walk with someone as ridiculous as Alex, then Pretend you're, playing GTA. you're bound to get at least 200 steps by the time you get home. In the wrong direction, LT. <laughs> Alex.exe has stopped working. Parkour. Park far away from the supermarket, park far away from the shop. If the car park's big enough, park at the opposite end. You're going to get an extra couple hundred steps just walking to and from your car. Alex has also got this lovely running joke with me where if I pull into a space that's more than three away from the door, she starts pulling her phone up like this. Hi, can I have a taxi, please? And I'm just like, you butt! <laughs> Try to get your steps in here and try to get you healthy. Moving on. Another thing you can do is walk while you're brushing your teeth. Now, if you're anything like me, and you should be in this case, you brush your teeth for two minutes every single day, morning and night. And you probably spend a lot of that time just staring in the mirror, admiring yourself, looking how beautiful you are. When instead, you could be acquiring some well-earned steps and that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to set a little timer here and we're going to see just how many steps I can get. So my Apple Watch says that we are currently on 1051 steps. Start our two minute timer. The teeth are brushed and we are currently sitting on 1,248 steps, which means I have uh, finished third year of uni, I don't need to be doing any more maths, no. 197 steps. Now, it's not a lot, but you're doing that twice a day, that's an extra 400 steps approximately that you're going to get, and that's easy, that's just steps that you wouldn't even have thought. Another thing you can do is drink more water, and this is going to help you get more steps because the more water you drink, 
the more trips to the toilet are gonna to make and that's just an easy way to add more steps. And you also get the benefit of drinking more water, which is good for a whole host of things in your body. So drink more water, more trips to the toilet. Aim to get between five and 7,000 steps done in the morning. Now you can do this on your days off or the days that you're working if you have the time, but the idea is to get a nice short walk that's gonna get you a whole load of steps done in the morning and then that way you can just let the rest of the day come and you will reach your 10,000 steps by the end of it. This is my daily walk now. I walk from my house to Bella Houston Park, around the park and back home and that's about 7,000 steps. So get that done every morning first thing. We are well on the way to 10K. Another tip is to walk while you're on the phone. This is something that I tend to do just as probably like a nervous trait or whatever where I pace back and forward when I'm on the phone. And I actually did this the other day when I was on the phone to my dad. We were on the phone for about an hour. I was pacing back and forward, just literally doing laps of the living room and managed to get at least another two and a half thousand steps, which is just extra steps that I wouldn't have got had I just been sitting on the couch. Going to the gym and working out is also another great way that you can add some extra steps. The act of just going to the gym is gonna get you some more steps, but you can take this a step further and you can walk around in between sets. How often do you see, or perhaps you've done it yourself, you finish your set and then you sit on your phone. You'll see loads of people in the gym doing this, I do it myself as well, but if you're looking to get extra steps, you can either walk in between sets, put your weights down, go for a walk. Another thing you can do as well is leave your water bottle in the house and you can take trips to and from the water fountain. This is gonna get you an extra few hundred steps. Another thing you can do is walk around while the kettle is boiling. If you're somebody who likes a morning cup of coffee, morning cup of tea, or maybe you're in work and you take regular tea and coffee breaks, pace around, get a few extra hundred steps just while you're waiting for the kettle to brew. So we're currently sitting on 4,187 steps. We're gonna see how many we can get. Well, this puppy boils. Kettle is boiling and we are on 4,428 steps. So I've got my calculator but I've just realised that I've forgotten I forgot how many steps I was on to start with. So it looks to me it was about 300 if I am correct. I'll put the actual number on the screen. This is just dead time you'd be standing about just sitting on your phone doing whatever. The kettle is boiled. I've managed to get an extra 300-ish steps. Imagine you're doing that multiple times a day, you could easily get a thousand steps if you're getting three or four coffees in a day, easily, and that's well on the way to 10,000, so making it easy, work smarter, not harder. Bonus tips for you, walk with appropriate footwear on. Having walked 25,000 steps for a week, having walked 50,000 steps in one day, I cannot stress the importance of walking with appropriate footwear enough. You have to make sure that if you're walking for a long period of time, you've got thick socks on, you've got comfortable shoes because you do not want to end up with blisters because you end up with blisters, your feet get cut to bits and then that puts you off walking. You might have to take rest days, you might have to invest in Comfeet, still waiting on that sponsor, but <laughs> you want to make sure you're wearing comfortable footwear that fits properly, it's tight and you can walk in it for long periods of time without getting sores on your feet. Another thing you can do is walk at night in rough neighbourhoods. Excuse me, ma'am. Where the hell are you going, man? This will increase your heart rate and you will walk quicker. With the threat of death looming around the corner, you will walk quickly to get out of there, thus increasing your step count. Another little tip for you, if you're in the supermarket and you've got your Apple Watch or Fitbit on, you need to make sure that you're not pushing the trolley and holding onto it the entire time because it won't register your steps while you're walking. And you'll get home and go, what happened? I was walking about in Asda there and I only ended up with 40 steps. How did that happen? Holding the trolley will cancel out all your steps. Your watch tracks the movement in your arm. If you're interested in seeing what walking can actually do for you, if you push yourself to the limits, then I highly recommend you check out my walking 25,000 steps every single day video. My feet are in tatters. Or you can also watch the 10,000 calories and 50,000 steps video. see just how beneficial walking can be for you.